Drink Coaster Restyle with Janet using Iron Orchid Designs Transfers. Today we're going to be using their Classic Pots Transfer. I've got an old pair or set of uh, tile coasters, some chalk paint, and just a nice small flat brush. And I'm going to apply enough paint to cover my old design. And I'm going to apply it in a manner that's going to leave texture. I'm going to be laying the brush down on its side a lot and lifting up to create thickness and texture. Then I'm going to hit it with a blow dryer on high heat. And what that's going to do is force dry the surface. And it's going to create cracks if we're lucky. And sure enough, there they are. I'll be using those cracks with dark wax later on. For, to uh, protect it, I'm going to put a thin coat of water-based varnish. And now let's go on to the video that's going to show you how I create these lovely coasters. Hey friends, I'm Janet here and I am going to show you how to apply these fantastic Iron Orchid Designs rub-on transfers. I love these things. So a lot of people have said, well, how do you, they think it's difficult. It is not difficult. So I'm going to show you um, how to do it. So I've done a couple already right here, and they came out great. So when you get these, they come in a tube, and you just open it up. And you're going to get a plastic rub-on utensil like that. And set that aside. And they come like this. There's grid marks to help you put them on your piece of furniture or whatever you're applying them to um, in a straight fashion. It's got backing paper. Keep this paper behind it until you're ready to do your rub on because this has some stickiness to it. I mean, just to where the um, design is and you don't want that sticking prematurely to something that you don't want it on. So keep that paper there. Uh, this one you can see I've cut my designs out already. That's what I love about these. Uh, even the ones that are in a full design, this one of course is not a full design. This one is called Classic Pots. So it's basically French lettering, um, typography with French design for um, pots, um, jars, things like that to look very antique. So you're meant to just use these individually. Uh, there's the big ones that are usually one big design, but you can also cut them apart and use them piece by piece. I've got some pieces of furniture uh, on my Facebook page uh, and my blog that show you how I did that. So for this, since I am going to cut these apart, what I did was I just kind of carefully slipped this underneath and kind of positioned to see which one was going to fit nicely. And then once I decided, I just took a scissor and then just cut out the design. And then that leaves you with, and then with the rest, just take the rest, roll it back up and put it back. Oops, there's another piece. I've got two pieces here because I cut them up. Roll it back up, put it back in the tube for another project. Okay. So I did two. I've got two left to rub on. Um, I've just placed it on. You can see, I mean, it's sticking a little bit because like I said, there's a little bit of stickiness to the back of this. So I put a thin coat of water-based varnish on this paint first because I found that the transfers tend to grab and adhere better if you've got uh, not a wax, you can't use wax, but if you have another type of uh, water-based top coat on there, let it dry really well and then put your transfer on. Um, I have done it straight on to my chalk paint and not have a problem with it at all, but it just seems to grab a little bit better when I have that thin coat of varnish on. So I've laid this on here, and this is pretty much where I want the design to be. You take your stick, and this won't move because it's, I mean, it's stuck on there, and just gently start rubbing on the design. And you can check every now and then, see that's coming off, see how nice? 
And see, lots of times you can tell, because see how much lighter this is? And this is darker black. So this is still stuck on. But I will say, that's not a hard rule, because I have seen black like that. And when I lift it, it's actually transferred. So go figure. So just kind of move around. You can use the edge. Sometimes I just use the little corner when I'm doing lettering because there's no sense in rubbing. I mean, the whole piece. I only want the lettering to come off. Now see, here's the a case that's black, but yet it did transfer, see? Okay, so I'll just keep going. And if it doesn't transfer, if you notice that it's not transferring, just lay it back down. Don't pull it all the way off. Lay it back down and just keep going. Sometimes you just have to have a little patience. See, here's another example. That was all black, yet it was transferred. There we go, okay. And then I usually take a piece of the white backing paper and I'll just rub just to make sure there's nothing sticking up. Look how easy that was. And it's on there. So I'm gonna do this one and then when I am done, I think what I'm going to do is give these a little bit more distressed look. Um, maybe sand it a little on the edges and a little bit of um, dark wax. I think that will, I think I'll put a top coat of the water-based varnish on the top first just to protect them. Because after all, they are coasters. And then I might do a little bit of dark wax here and there. But that's how easy it is. It's just a matter of positioning the transfer on your piece. And it doesn't even have to be a painted piece. If these were just um, solid, uh, this was a design. You'll see from the photos I posted, there's a design, an old design under this. But if it was just a solid piece of tile, you could put this right over the tile. You, it doesn't have to be over paint. So these are a lot of fun. I hope you're going to go ahead, pick some up, and start playing around with them and get creative. Thank you. And here's the finished product. I did apply two thin coats of water-based varnish and then a little bit of dark wax to kind of give them a more aged patina. And if you want to find out more about Iron Orchid Designs products, you can visit me if you're local at the Fox Den Antiques Mall in Warrington, Virginia, or go to www.ironorchiddesigns.com to find a local stockist that can help you. Please do consider following me on Facebook and Instagram. And if you liked this video, hit the like button and please subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much.